Trout in the Classroom 2016. Let me just start off by saying that it has truly been a privilege and so amazing to see these trout grow and prosper. Um, right here what you see is a video of us, first of all, cleaning the tank. Um, and each rotation we'll get a chance to do this every day. Over here we're feeding fo the fish. We're measuring out the food. And then over here we're doing some chemical testing. So this is the aquarium setup starting right here is the chiller. Um, it keeps the fish tank cold, and we want it anywhere from about 48 to 53. Right here, the thing that's blowing up the bubbles is the aerator. It has, the bubbles have oxygen in them, and the fish need that to live. Um, all the blue stuff around the outside is insulation, and it keeps all the cool in. Um, right here is the pump. It basically pumps out the water, and the filter filters out any of the bad stuff and then we put new fresh water in for the fish so this is all about the water testing um first let's just start off with all of the things that we use to test which were these bottles and these are just the actual tubes by the bottles but we are testing for the high range ph ammonia nitrite and nitrate so, the high range pH, we want it at about anywhere from 7.4 to 7.8. Right now, it's at 8.4. Um, some of these numbers and the colors, it's all about your judgment on what it is. Here, I'd say it's about 0 0.50 for the ammonia. And that's pretty decent um, in one way or another because there is good and bad ammonia. But here's the nitrite, and we want it at zero. If it's anywhere below or above zero, it is very dangerous and toxic to the fish. The nitrate, we want it about 20 to 40. And right here, I'd say it's a, at about 20. Um, right over here is our board that says trout in the classroom. And this is just how many drops um, we need to put in the test tube. We'd fill up. Um, till this white line with the tank water, and then we'd put, if you're doing pH, let's say for example, you'd um, take five drops and put it, and then shake it up and put it next to color, and then you'd be able to tell what it is. And then the number of fish and the grams of food that we would feed them. And then right here is just the nitrogen cycle. So this is all about feeding our trout. In this picture, there are two people measuring out food. In the picture below, this is a food web of what our little buddies will be eating in the wild. And over here is a video of the trout eating. Um, basically, most of the food floats on the top, so just come up and get it. So, we've come to that day when we release the trout at Stony Brook. Here is a picture of Stony Brook, and then over here is when we first got to our experience of releasing them. So, this is a shocking experience. So, right here, um, the DNR is showing us what, that they shock the fish. And it does not kill them, but it just kind of stuns them enough for them to come up to the top. And then they just will get the fish and they can catch them. Um, right here, um, the guy is telling us about the different kinds of fish that they caught. And here is a jar with one of the fish in them, and another picture of that. Investigating Stony Brook. So we had the opportunity to go to all these different stations, and they were about different things. This one right here, um, this guy is catching some bugs from the water of what the trout eat, and we're just trying to identify them on this chart. Over here, we were doing some water testing. Basically, she would fill out this tube with water, and we'd look down, and we'd try and see a target at the bottom, and we'd see how clear the water is. Here, she's talking about invasive species, and over here, it was a little bit more hands-on than this one, but we were also identifying them and putting them by the certain bug that they were. So, we have had these trout in our classroom for a few months now, and now it's time to say goodbye. Um... It is a little bit sad because we've gotten to see these trout grow and we've known them for a few months now. 
But it's also really cool at the same time. Hopefully, I can come back one day and recognize some of them because we named some of them by how they looked. It was really cool. But right here, two of my classmates were giving um, a speech about the trout. So then we put them into cups with water, and everybody got to release one. There's just a few different pictures here. And it was just a really, really cool experience. The sixth grade class would like to thank these organizations for making Trout in the Classroom a reality. Trout Unlimited, Box Valley Trout Unlimited, Trout in Public School District, Trout in Area Community Foundation, Wisconsin DNR, and Groundwater Guardian. When things seem impossible, always remember, never trout yourself. Any fin is possible.